amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The amazing God, the wonderful God, the marvelous God, the God that cannot behold the liquidity. Who is like you, Lord? No one is like you. The amazing God, the God of wonders, the miracle working God, the God that can do all things. With him, all things are possible. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you, Helena. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless every one of you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall bow under the shadow of the Almighty. The God that we serve is amazing God. God bless you, Helena. Please, I want you to share as you are coming. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, God bless you, Papa. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Amazing God. You only come true for me, amazing God. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. If that same God always there for you, why can't you sing this song with me? That same God that never abandoned you. That same God that is always there. When the, you are going through difficult times, when you cannot even make decisions for yourself, when you become helpless, you think there's no help coming anymore. You have lose all hope. That same God is there. That God is called amazing God. The God that always do wonders. The miracle working God. He is there. He never abandoned you. He always there from the beginning till now. When you are going through pain, you are going through persecutions. You think there is no one, no one, no one. Oh, Makado Shata. The Lord is there. The Lord is there for you. He never leave you nor forsake you. That same God has been there. He's called amazing God. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That same God is God of signs and wonders. That same God is called a miracle working God. That same God is a God that never sleeps nor slumber. The amazing God, the omnipresent and the omniscience. The faithful father, no one is like him. No one is like him. Magado Shekatata. Rebaba Gada Shekato Zebregede. Thank you, Father. 
the amazing God, the wonderful God, the miracle working God, the God of signs and wonders. I worship you. I give you praise. I give you honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the amazing God, the always come true for us. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God. Please, Valen Dali, join me on, on the prayer line. I'm on Facebook, okay? Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. I want you to share. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. When people abandoned you, did God abandon you? When you think you have no helper, God is always there. He's there. He has never leave you nor forsake you. That same God is called the miracle working God. He's called the Yahweh God. You are many present, you are many signs. The faithful father, the God that knows what you need. He said, before you ask, he already know your desires. That same God is here today. He's going to make a way for you. He's going to bring out water out of the rock. No matter how it is, right now where you are, God can still make a way. He can still bring water out of the rock because he's a faithful father. He has never promised and faith. He's a God that never failed. He's the only present, the only science, the faithful God, the blessed Blessed Redeemer, the God that can do all things. With Him, all things are possible. What is that thing it's too difficult for God to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All you need to do is to put your trust. It's for you to put your faith in him. Allow him to take care of you. Allow him to take care of you. Put your faith in him. The God that never sleeps nor slumber. The miracle working God. The faithful father. The blessed redeemer. The God that can do all things. Who is like you? No one is like you. Among other God, there is none like you. You are glorious in holiness. The faithful father. The amazing God. The God that can heal you in this in a single minute it can heal you it can take away that sickness that sickness they said there is no cure oh my god oh shut up he said by the measure of that name jesus christ every knee must bow that sickness will bow every tongue must confess that jesus is lord he said by his Christ we are healed do not worry about what you will eat and what you will eat where yeah. the Lord know that you need all those things. All he wants you to do is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing will be added unto you. Everything that you needed to settle in life, the Lord will provide it for you. God know that you need those things. He need he know that you need clothes. He know that you need material things. He know that you need house. He know that you need car. You need jobs. You need helpers. He's going to provide. All you need is to keep on trusting in him. Keep on trusting in him. Oh, they get it. Amazing God. He all come true for me. Amazing God. The all come true for me. Amazing God. This same God that we serve. He always come true for me, have never failed me. Oh, when situation become tough, God always show forth. When I think all hope is gone, he always show forth. Please keep on trusting in this God. Keep on trusting in him. Do not let him go. Hold on to him. Hold on to him. The Bible says, hold on to what you have. Hold on to it that no one will take away your crown of glory. Hold on to him. Let him take care of you. God bless you, Joseph. Hold on to him. Violence. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Kamara, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Kate, you are blessed. Let's hold on to this precious God. Let's hold on to this amazing God. The God that has never failed. The God of the 11 hours. That is called the miracle working God. When all hope are gone, God will just show up like this. Yes, he is. He show up where you give up, where you think you cannot do it again. He's a merciful father. Yes, he will show up. Please help me share. Invite friends and family. If you have to call, call them. Let them join us. Magada shatata. Amazing God. You all come through for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all come through for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. He always there for you. Amazing God. God is always there. He knows what you need. He know the right thing to do for you. Let's put our hope in this great and mighty God. He's going to do it again and again and again. He's going to turn that bitter situation to sweetness. He's going to make a way where there is no way. He's the way maker, the one that can give you peace. No money can buy peace. Even if you are the richest man on the earth, you can't bought peace because peace is not for money. Only Jesus Christ can give it. You need peaceful home. Come to him. He said, my peace I've lived with you. My peace I give unto you. The book of John 40, 27. My peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the word gave it. Do not let your heart be troubled. What is that in trouble in your heart? Amazing God, you all come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God. You all come true for me. Amazing God. God always come true for us. He's called the amazing God. The wonderful God. The God that can do, uh, do great things. Obas, Obasi, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Amazing God. You all come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all come true for us. Amazing God, amazing God, you all come true for me. Amazing God, this month is a month of giving birth. It's a month of harvest. It's a month that God is turning situation around. It's a month that flow with honey and milk. It's a month for you to possess your possession. Yes, all that which God has promised. This is a month of fulfillment. It's a month of peace. May the Lord grant your heart desire. I can feel the melody of joy in my, in my heart since three days. The Lord has laid this song in my heart. This song that I am singing, as I'm singing it, God begin to prove to me that he's amazing God. I should keep on trusting in him. I should not let my heart be troubled. I should not be worried. He will take care of me. All he needs is for me to be faithful to him. It's for me to obey and he will do the rest. Let's keep on trusting in God. Every day you will see the hand of God. Every day you are going to see miracles. Every day you are going to see wonders. Why? Because the God that we serve is called a miracle working God. Amazing God. You all come true for me. Amazing God. I want you to sing this song. Sing it with all your heart. With all your heart. Amazing God, you all come true for me. Amazing God. 
Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, my poker, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. I may not pronounce your name well, forgive me. Violence, you are blessed. This is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This same God that we serve is called a miracle working God. This same God that we serve is a called a miracle working God. A faithful Father, the God that cannot behold iniquity. Yes, that is the amazing God that we serve. That is a wonderful God that we serve. That is a God of signs and wonders. He's a God that can do all things. Oh my God, he can do all things. Yes, 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 yes. He's a miracle working God. Amazing God. You only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all the come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all the come true for me. Amazing God. The God that has never abandoned the poor, that never abandoned the righteous, the God that never abandoned this old will not abandon you. The God that never abandoned the widows, he never abandoned the poor. He never abandoned the orphanage, the fatherless children. He cares for you. That same God will come to your rescue. He will come and deliver you from every problem that you are facing. He's going to bring you out. That same God. He's called the miracle working God. The God that provided a sacrifice for Abraham altars. When God took Abraham, he told Abraham to take his only son, Isaac. He said, go and sacrifice him. Do you know it was hard, but Abraham obeyed. Everyone knows the story of Abraham, how he took Abraham years for him to have that boy called Isaac. Abraham was an old man. His wife, Sarah, was an old woman. They gave birth to this young boy. The temptation came. God sent Abraham if Abraham really loves him. Still yet, Abraham left. He carried his son Isaac. He went to the, the place God, God described for him to sacrifice the boy. After he had tied the boy on the altar, he took a knife. He bowed to slaughter that boy. He bowed to sacrifice him. The Lord called up. The Lord called Abraham when God, when Abraham looked up. He said to Abraham, don't lay a hand on that boy. Look up. When Abraham looked around, he found a ram. A ram, he used it for the sacrifice. Do you know that same God can do it for you? In a difficult situation. That place that you have given up, that place you think there is no help again, God will come to your rescue. This is a month that God is showing forth as amazing God. He's going to come to your rescue. He's going to do it again and again and again. That same God is going to deliver you from that sickness. That body that you have carried is going to lift it up. He said, come up to me, those are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come, Jesus is inviting you. He's inviting you, come. Come, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What is that thing that God cannot do? He's called amazing God. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Mama, we're on the prayer line. Join us, Ma, if you are if you are valuable. God bless you. Amazing God. You only come true for me. Amazing God.
That same God he have never failed. The same God that bring out water from the rock. They travel in the desert. In the wilderness, no water they were tasting. God told Moses, took some elders. Go to the rock I'm going to show you. I will bring out water for the Israelites to drink. Is that God not amazing? The same compassionate God. He's a, he has compassion. He has mercy. No matter what you are going through. Keep on trusting in this God, this amazing God. He's going to show forth for you. Don't give up hope. Don't give it up. Trust in him, lay on him. Let him do it again and again. The same God of the Bible is still the same God now. He's called the miracle working God. He's called the Yahweh God. He called your mini present, your mini science, the faithful father. The amazing God has he failed before? No, he has never failed. He will not fail you. Operation a rebuilder, the broken world. God bless you, man of God. He will never fail you. That same God has been doing it before and is going to do it again. The same God that never abandoned you. The same God that sees your tears. The secret tears. That tear that you are crying in the secret place. He knows. He sees. Your secret tears. Your pillow can bear weakness. Yes. Sometimes your husband doesn't even know what you are going through. Your wife don't know what you are going through. But you are going through a lot in you. But your pillow can be a weakness. Every night, every day you lie on that bed, there's tears flowing on your pillow. In the Bible, call that the secret tears. But that secret tears, God has seen it. He's about now to wipe away that tears. He's going to turn your sorrow to become sweetness. Your sorrow to become testimony. Your sorrow to become something beautiful. He did it before. That is why it's called amazing God. He said, come unto me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Today's a day of rest. He called it Sabbath. Sabbath is not Sunday. Every day I said it. Any church who does not let them know that the Sabbath is important because God himself can never change. Every day you can serve God. That's not a problem. But the Sabbath is a special day. God said, come. Come unto me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's a day of celebration. It's a day you present yourself before your father. It's a day you come to him and allow him to take care of you. What is that heaviness? What is that trouble? What is that pain in your body? As you present yourself, God is sitting on the throne. The royal majesty. He's called the king of kings, the lord of lords. The Yahweh God, the omnipresent and the omnipresent. The God that never failed, your changeable changer. The king of kings, by his blood, we are being redeemed. We are not ordinary. We are royalty. We are not ordinary person. We are peculiar people. We are royalty. A treasure possessions of God. We are different. Our father is a royalty, the king of kings, the king of kings. All other kings bow before him. That is the father that gave birth to you. That is your heavenly father. That is the father that, that can do all things for you. The word of a king don't fall to the ground. Until you know that God is here. Until you know that the same God. 
that you serve is not ordinary. Until you know who your father is, you cannot take your place. Yes. If you think your father is a poor man, that is why you still remain poor. If you think that your father cannot, cannot offer you anything, that is why your situation has not changed. The day you carry your identity, the day you know you are royalty, the day you begin to carry yourself as one, you will see that your situation will change. You will see all you need is the name of your father. The name of your father is the sickness ring of God. He said, I will make you my sickness ring. Go and read the book of Hagar. He talked about the sickness ring is the signature of God. You are the representative of God on this earth. God bless you, great man of God. Let me tell you that same God have not failed and he will not fail you. That same God that will do it before he can do it again. That same God that seated on the throne. Do you think a king will sit on the throne and the same my children shall be a beggar? No. You are not a beggar. Not that you are poor. No, you are not a poor man. You are not a poor woman. The day you represent God on earth and let the world know that you are not ordinary. There is greater power in you. Say greater is he that is in you that the devil that is in the world before things will begin to change royalty don't beg royalty don't bow down their heads before they reach the door is already open yes that is royalty when you travel with royalty the moment the transport that transport them, them the car you see a body guy will quick get up and open the door for them the same way before they enter a beauty the door is already opened there is a chair prepared for them. It's called throne. Yes. When a royalty show forth in any way, they sit on the throne. They don't sit in ordinary seats. There is a throne God has prepared for you. You are the Esthers of your generation. You are the Nehemiahs of your generation. You are the King David of your generation. You are the King Solomon of your generation. Take your place, occupy until he comes. You are not ordinary. Amazing God, you all do for me. Amazing God, you all a comfort for me. Amazing God, amazing God. You all they come true for me. Amazing God. The Lord will always come true for you. That trap they have set on your way, you are jumping it and you will pass it. You will not fall where they expect you to fall. Where they expect you to stumble, you will not stumble. You know why? Because you have a greater God that is sustaining you. The Bible said the step of the righteous is being ordered by God. Yes. The widow woman who her husband died and left her with debt. The creditors about to collect her two sons to become a slave. You think God that the husband served is a dead God? No. How can a royalty become a slave? The same God that comes true for that woman. That told the little oh yeah, to wipe away her debt. And she and her family never again be heard in the Bible that they suffered. Poverty was gone forever. That same God will come true for you. Until you know that the God that you serve is a miracle working God. Until you know that the God you serve is a God that can make a way where there is no way. Until you know that the God that you serve can touch the dead womb. And the dead womb will come back to life. Yes. Sarah womb was dead. She was in her menopause. That same God can do it for you. You are not buried. You may be in menopause. As far as you desire children, your womb will be open. As you are hearing my voice, so shall it be. All you need is to believe. Believe. There's an authority. As I am speaking, the Lord is speaking through me. I may sit here, but not me sitting. The Holy Spirit is the one speaking through me. Yes. 
Come unto me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is an invitation, hopeful invitations, that the Holy Spirit are calling his children. All over the world, say, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to him with that heaviness, that worriness. Come unto me. The book of Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Jesus is still calling. Hello, darling. Join us on prayer line. You're on Facebook. God bless you. Hallelujah. He's still calling you. It's a hopeful invitation. You don't need to have money. All you need is to come. You don't need to buy tickets. All you need is to present yourself. On the Sabbath day is the day, God bless you, Samuel. It's the day you come to present yourself to your father. You present yourself to the amazing God. This God is too amazing. He's a great God. That's why his name is called the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The year where God, you are in the presence. Yeah, Rabbi God, shut up. God bless you, man of God. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come unto me, O ye that weary and heavy laden. Weariness comes from worries. What is that thing that worried your mind? That gives you sleepless nights? You are worried. That thing that become worried. That lead you to depression. Why can't you present it before him? As you come before your heavenly father. As you come before the king of glory. As you come before the Lord of Lord, as you come before the Yahweh God, let it do it again and again. And you will go into smile. Yes, man. De -de 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 you are going to smile. You are going to dance. He's not going to allow you to go empty because it's a reward of those who diligently seek him. God never called you to come and seek him in vain. You are being redeemed by his blood out of your family, from your home, from poverty, from sickness, from affliction, to become a royal peacehold, a king and a prince that will reign on this earth. You are royalty. The Lord is calling all his lost sons and the lost daughters. He wants you to return back to the palace. Because the palace is where you belong. You do not belong to the bush. You do not belong to the doggers. You belong to the palace. The Lord is calling you. You are the royalty of God. You are the sons and the daughter of God. The voice of the Lord is thunder and is inviting you. Come unto me. Those who are weary and heavy, laden, and I will give you rest. How can you have rest if you don't have peace? But when you come to God, God is taking away that weariness. He's giving you peace. He's giving you rest. If you have sickness in your body, can you have rest? If there is pain going on in your body, do you think you can have rest? But when God takes it away, He's giving you rest. That sickness in your body, I command it now to disappear in the name of Jesus. Never come back. I rebuke that demon in your body. I command it to come out. Get out of them in the name of Jesus. Back to hell where you belong. That affliction, that negativities, that suffering, that pain, that persecution, that death you are holding. I command it now out in the name of Jesus. I declare peace, restoration unto you. May the Lord restore back your glory. May the Lord restore back your glory. May the Lord restore back that which God, the enemy have tampered with. Receive back your blessing. Receive back your restoration. Receive back your glory in the name of Jesus. Please, I want the comment section. Keep it busy. And thumbs up this video. Please, every one of you, as you are coming, share. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, 
Amazing God. He only come true for you. Amazing God. Amazing God. He will only be there for you. Amazing God. This amazing God will always be there for you. When your father and mother forsake you, he said, I will be there. When friends forsake you, the Lord is there. When those that promise you they fail you, the Lord is there. They promise you come 12 o'clock. I'm going to help you. You will call their phone number if it's off. Yes, the God number never get off. Anytime you call, the heaven will answer you. You will go to their house the moment you ring the bell. The mother said, please go and tell her that I'm not home. They are home. They will send the messengers. Have you called God and God said I'm not home? The Bible said this amazing God never sleep nor slumber. Even, even when we are sleeping, we are slumber, we are snowing. God never sleep nor slumber. He's called the amazing God. The amazing God that will always come true for you. In the night when you are big choking, the Lord is there. He never allowed the enemy to, to draw you on your sleep. He fought the unseen battles. Yes. That same God is called a God that can open doors. He's a God that will go before you. Yes, he's going to make all the crooked way straight. The Lord is going to build your home again. The Lord is going to make you smile again. That marriage that's about to collapse, the Lord is fixing it back. Yes. The plans of the enemy will never prevail over your life. This same God is called the amazing God. The amazing God. The wonderful God. The miracle working God. The God of signs and wonders. The God that walk upon the sea. The God that told Peter, go to the sea, go to the river. The first fish you will catch, open his mouth. There is a golden coin, pay your debt and mine. Every debt you are hold, the Lord have paid it. The Lord will pay it all. He's called the amazing God. That thing that make you worry, that make you not to sleep well, that give you sleepless nights. The Lord is taking care of it. Trust in him. Trust in him. Believe in him. Has he failed? Has he promised and failed? No. Has God promised and failed? No. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, that same God that have become true for me. All that I've went through in life, not even one time that the Lord have failed me. He have always showed forth. When situation become tougher. God always show forth for me. He always be there for me. He's showing himself over and over. That I am the amazing God that called you. I never called you to serve me in vain. When I take no bread, sometimes the last minute, the last minute, hours is already counting. Just few minutes to go. God always show forth. It may be an hour God can see show forth. It may be some few minutes before the clock. Before the clock. The end of the clock. That time they book for you. God will show forth for you. If you believe it, so shall it be for you. You are in a mess right now. You have a court case. You are so much scared. You know if they judge you according to what happened, you are going to be in trouble. The Lord said I should tell you. If you put my trust, you 
put your trust in him is going to show forth for you. That day is going to sit as the, as the judge of the earth. He's going to favor you. All you have need is to say, have mercy, Lord. I did that thing that I'd be accused of. Don't hide your sin. He said, he that cover his sin will not prosper. Don't hide your sin. Ask the Lord for mercy. The polygast son, he realizes his mistake. I've wronged my father. What I did was wrong. He returned back. His father saw it in the distance. He opened his hand. He welcomed him back. Why? Because he realized his mistake. But if you cover your sin, God cannot help you. Because the devil will use it as an accusation. My heart, God bless you, Dali. Please help us to share. Let the truth be revealed to God. In the place of prayers, say, Father, have mercy. I did it. I am sorry. Help me. Help me. Help me if you could help me and bring me out. I vow not to go back to the same thing. I will become a good child. We see God will show forth for you. But when you are still covering your sin, you are still trying, you know you did that thing and you are still trying to say yes, you are still lying. Even if you lie to people, don't lie to God. He's the one that see what happened in the secret. Even in the dark. No one see it. But God sees you. Satan sees you. Because both spirits are both of them are spirits and they see what happened. That's why the devil is accusing you. Those secret things you think nobody knows. He sees and God sees it. But when you repent, the blood of Jesus will wash away your sin. There's nothing again to use as an accusation. The blessings will be released. Your favor will be released. The Bible says Satan is an accuser of brethren. The reason many people say, oh, I have not received my breakthrough, I'll be pray, 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 pray. Have you examined yourself? Have you confessed your sin? This amazing God that I know is a faithful father. In the last minute, if you confess, he will still have mercy on you. Even if you lie to everyone on this earth, don't lie to God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. That same God will come true for you. He will fight your battle. He will rescue you. Your nakedness will not be seen. He will protect you. He will provide for you. He will make a way for you. He's called a compassionate God. He said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. This same God that we serve is a compassionate God. God bless you, brother Dali. This same amazing God will show forth for you. The last minute, he will show forth for you. The widow woman, the only son, was about to be buried. The only sons of the widow woman. Do you know what happened? When Jesus Christ saw this widow woman, mm, he had compassion on her. The book of Luke 7, from verse 12 to 14. 
Now when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only source of his mother, as she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. Weep not. The Lord is a compassionate God. Don't cry, daughter. The only hope, she has no husband that's going to pregnate her again. She was a widow. The only son, the only eyes that she has. The only hope, the only helper. The only reward. Her husband died. At least that son is a reward that will bring joy. Anytime she see her son, at least she will remember that her husband is not dead. When you see your son, so maybe she's crying. In the moment her son says, Mommy, are you all right? Okay, I'm fine, darling. That moment she forgets her pain that she doesn't have a husband because her son is there. Her son is there to, to, to comfort her. Her son is there to give her water. Her son is there to give her food. That only hope died. Died and gone. They carried that boy in the coffin. Going to bury her. The crowd of the city were with her, crying with her, telling her, take her. God give it and God take it. That's what they say. Don't cry. What can we do? Life continue. The Bible said, Jesus saw this woman by the gates. On their way to the cemetery, we had to bury him. And this woman saw her. The Bible said her heart, the heart of God went to her. He had compassion. And the Lord saw her and he had compassion on her and said to her, mm, Weep not. Oh, and he came and touched the coffee which they were carrying this young man. And they stand there and say, Young man, I say unto you, rise. The dead man came back to life. Is that God not amazing? The enemy killed. They have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Who is this enemy? Is called the devil. John 10, 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief only cometh to kill, to steal, and to destroy. What he can't kill, he destroy it. What he can't destroy, we steal it. Those are the three missions. And these three missions cover all the evil activities you see today on earth. Yes. That is a mission of the devil. But when you trust in this amazing God, it will only come true for you. It will come true for you. You don't know the direction is going to come. But put your hope, it's going to come true for you. You don't know the hours, but it's going to come true for you. What do you think? This woman, about to bury her only son. This woman about to bury her only son on the way to cemetery. Ah! On their way to cemetery with coffee. Do you think this woman still have hope? I want to sit on comment session. 
if that thing happened to you, will you not give up your hope? If that child could arise, it could arise before they took him about to bury him. Who know how many days the child have died? Who know how many days they have been praying for restoration? Who know how many days? But this time, the woman have no other choice. Instead of the coffee, start smelling. They have to bury the young man. Oh, my God. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all have come true for them. Amazing God. Sing this song. Sing it like your heart. Since three days, the Lord have laid this song in my heart. If I tell you what God has done for me for these three days, you will be amazed. I just lay on him. I never take my heart away from him. Because if he don't come through for me, who else? If you can't help me, who else will do? I have nowhere to go. Where can I go from your presence, Lord? I'm here. If you can help me, ask me, help me. No one. If you can't do it, who else is going to do it? No one. Let your, say that to yourself. Let your spirit and your mind recognize that. When you put your hope in men, they will disappoint you. But when you put your hope in this Papa God, he will come true for you. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. We are men forsake you. Where they refuse to carry your phone call, the Lord will show forth for you. God bless you, Augustina. Where they abandoned you, the Lord will show forth for you. Trust him. He will change the situation. Yes, do your part and let him do his part. If you ask for something and that thing is not given to you, does not make God a bad God because he know that was not the right time. Or that thing, if he releases it that time, it may, be, it, may be, it may cause you trouble. That's why it's not releasing it. But see, keep on worshiping him. At the right time, it's going to show forth for you. Where the enemy think they are going to see your nakedness? No, 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 no. The Lord is going to cover your shame. Yes. Your nakedness will not be seen. They will not see your downfall. They will not see your end. They will not see your downfall. The Lord will protect you. He will show forth for you. Who knows? Maybe it's just about five minutes to the cemetery to put the, the, the dead man inside the grave. Do you know your way to the grave? The grave is already be dug. How many of you have you went to a better ground? Before they will carry a dead man. Way to the cemetery. The grave of that man is already dug down. Yes. That is, what, that is how it is. But that amazing God that we always come through for you. He did it for Abraham. About to slaughter his only son, which God requested, sacrifice your son Isaac. He obeyed. God showed forth for him. Hey, guy, her only son that he gave birth, the Ishmael, he gave birth for Abraham. About to die of tasting because there's no water to drink. The Lord showed forth for him. He showed him a water. To drink. The Israelites traveled, no water to drink. 
the Lord provide water for them. On the rock, rock is a hard situation. Are you in a hard situation right now? The Lord can bring water out of the rock for you. God can change that situation. Don't give up. Keep on trusting him. That time, the time you are is a time of trials. God wants to see if you really love him. In your waiting time, temptation is going to come. Abraham waited time, temptation come. Yes. Temptation will come. But if you pass the test, it will become a promotion to you. People are going to propose evil, wickedness. The blessing is there, but they are going to propose. Tell you if you go this way, the quicker way. Don't go through quicker way. Let the word of God go through the word of God. You know, if you do this, you are going to be you are going to be rich under seven days. Tell them thank you. I trust in God to make me rich than to take your riches. Trust in God. The quicker way lead to death. The quicker way lead to hell. Trust in God is going to do it. You are believing God for foot of the womb. He will do it. Trust in him. You will not die without a child. There's no barrenness in the land. In the history of the Bible, no one was barren. The only woman that died as a barren woman was the wife of King David, the daughter of Saul, because she mocked David when David was dancing. David was naked dancing. He mocked him while he was praising his God. That was the only person, Maka, who died as a buried woman. Amazing God, you all the control for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all the control for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all the control for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you are the control for us. Amazing God. God did not abandon this woman. On her way to bury her only son, her holy hope, her holy eyes, her holy helper, her only reward. From her marriage, her only proud, her only joy, her coverage, her son was her coverage, her only defense. When you have a child, your child will be everything for you. When people are insulting you, we defend you. She didn't have it in two. She only had one. One son. Let me read it again. In the book of Luke 7, I'm reading from verse 12. Luke 7, verse 12. Now when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carry out the only sons of his mother. And she was a widow. The only source of his mother, and she was a widow. Mm, Jesus. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the coffee which they were carrying the young man. And he stands still, the young man. And he said, young man, rise up. Jesus said, young man, rise up. He touched the coffee.
People were carrying it, they stand still. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord in your life. He told the people who were carrying this dead man, stand still. All he did is say, get up, young man, rise up. The dead man came back life. Jumping, dancing. He gave her back and gave him back to his mother. He gave him back to his mother. Is that God not amazing? Someone that have died, which everyone saw, they have given up hope. They are just about to bury him. If you are in that situation, do you still have hope? If I were there, I don't think there's hope. Oh. The time there's hope is when I was still praying. Oh, Father, have mercy. Bring him back to life. Have mercy. Bring him back to life. For you as a mother allowing them to carry him, to go and bury him. That means you have given up hope. If you don't give up hope, you will not tell them to carry him home. You say, leave him here. Leave him here. You are still praying, praying, praying. Da, 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 da. Father, Lord, have mercy. Bring him back to life. Have mercy. Bring him back to life. Before you could say, okay, what can we do? Carry him and go and bury him. All hope is gone. You are just walking like a corpse. That woman, I can imagine how she, inside that, she's already dead. She's just walking like a cop. Her only, she just tried to raise her feet. I don't think people will just be supporting her because if you allow her to walk by herself, she will fall down and faint or died. People are just carrying her because she has no choice that she must go with them to go and bury her only son. But Jesus showed forth at the last hours, at the last minutes, he showed forth. He said, I have compassion on her. The heart of God works direct. Do you know the same way God have compassion on you? The same way the Lord have compassion, mercy on you. He will not allow you to bury that important thing in your life. He will not allow you to be put to shame. He will not allow you to be humiliated. He will not allow you for people to ask you, where is the God that you serve? He will not allow them to begin to insult you. Do you know if this woman could have ended up burying her only son, people could have called her witch. Yes. You are a witch. You kill your only son. You kill your husband was not enough. Now you kill your only son. They could have given her different kind of evil names. She could have not able to show her face again in the village or in the city where she lives. All her neighbor could have been running away for her. They will say she's the one who killed her husband. Now you have killed your only son. Don't come close to our son. No. Don't come close to our children. No. They will give her different names. This is what is happening today in our society. These are what is happening today in our nations, in our country, in our land, in our neighborhood. The God, the amazing God, the God that will always come true for you. That will never allow the witch of your enemies to come to pass. May he show forth for you in the name of Jesus. May this same God show forth for you. May this same God come to your rescue. Please can we share to invite more people. May the Lord bless every one of you. Let's share and invite more people. Let others know that we are here. Let's share and invite more people. Let others know that we are here. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. 
Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you only come true for us. Amazing God. That God is going to come true for you. Yes, he's going to show forth. He's going to stand as your judge. He's going to stand as your lawyer. He's going to stand as your helper. He's going to stand as your provider. He's going to stand in the name of Jesus. My sister, Buku, how are you? You are watching from the gate. Come in. It has been a while. I have not seen you. Hallelujah. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you only come true for us. Amazing God, amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, it will always come true for you. Amazing God. In the last minute, the Lord will show forth for you. The miracle of the 11 hours. He will provide for you. He will make a way for you. That job that you are believing God for, the Lord is going to give it. Give it to you. That which you seek, you will find it. Every door you have been knocking, the Lord is going to open it for you. Let's keep on trusting him. Yes, that document is coming. God knows that you need it. That husband, that wife you believe in God for, he knows that you need it. He's going to make a way, he's going to provide it. That financial situation you are into, financial crisis, God is going to turn this around. The little you have, the little you have, God is going to multiply it. That work that you are doing, he said, we bless the work of your hands. God doesn't bless empty hand. That's what God is going to use to bless you. God bless you, Eze. Long time, how are you, darling? I've not been seeing you. This amazing God is going to do it again. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Sing this song. This song is a miracle song. This song, as you are singing it, the Lord will begin to make a way. As you are singing this song with your heart, it will begin to open doors that have been closed. God will begin to break part lock. That safe where there's part lock will break it. The treasures will be released. That blessing which the enemy think they part lock, the Lord is breaking it. Our first word this month, of this month that we are when we pray for the midnight to enter the, the first day. Do you know what the Lord said to us? He said, I'm breaking part lock. That means the padlock that padlock your blessing, your miracles have been broken. It's for you to go and take what belongs to you. That padlock that shut that door have been broken. The padlock they used to lock your destiny have been broken. The padlock they used to lock your, your helpers have been broken. The padlock they used to lock your blessings have been broken. Padlock is a key they used to lock. He's broken! The blessings is released. Your destiny helpers, your husband, your wife, your miracles, your womb is open in the name of Jesus. That which you are praying for, to your deliverance, is already here. The Lord has opened it. You will receive your healings. You will receive your babies. You will receive your miracles in the name of Jesus. This God that we serve is called Amazing God. Amazing God, you all the country for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all the country for me. Amazing God. 
Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you only there for you. Amazing God. He will always be there for you. He will always come true for you. When no one is there, God is there. Where you give out hope, that's where God all straight start. What you cannot do for yourself, that is where God will show forth. We are no helper. God will be your helper. He is your helper. Our help in this ministry come from where? From God. Psalm 1 to 1, verse 1. We, we always lift up our eyes unto the mountain where come our help. Our help come from the Lord. The makers of the heaven and the earth. Violence, your help come from the Lord. In the last minute, she's here right now. About to move, she already packed her things. Get her things ready. About to go to shelter to go and declare homeless because she lose her house. She could not continue the payment. Her children already left. She just about to leave. What she kept her there was that she could not have single dime to pay for cab to take her to to shelter where she declared homeless. But God showed forth for her. She sent a message and said, woman of God, I have no helpers. I have packed my things on my way to go and declare homeless. But the only thing still keeping me here because nobody to help me to carry me there. I don't have money to pay for cash. She sent that message to me and said, oh God, Father, you are the help of the helpless. I sent a message to her. The Lord said I should send Psalm 1 to 1, Psalm 121 to her. I said, violence, if I'm lying, I want you to confirm it. Violence, you can hear me. I said, violence, the Lord said he was going to help you. Don't worry, your help come from the Lord. It did not come from man. He's going to help you. I send the prayers to her. Few hours, the Lord show forth for her. God used somebody. It's not a relative. It's not a friend to pay for accommodation for her. That woman said, no, you cannot go to shelter at your age. No, 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 no. I'm going to help you. What did she did? She looked for a room for her. Pay for her, and that is where she's living. Pay for her food. I'm even told her that I will continue paying your bill until you get back to your feet. The last time I asked her, I said, Violent, how much is, does that room cost? She said, Woman of God, it costs about around $800. This is not her relative, it's not her friend, it's not her children. God show forth for her. This is not a story of the Bible. This is reality in our time. Violet, can you see hear me? If you are hearing me, let me know. Amazing God. You only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Please, I want you to share. Yes. Violet, the testimony I gave about you, am I right or not? I want you to rather yes or no. About what God did for you. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. That God that we serve, do you see the look at the comments? Say yes. He said yes. She have gave the testimony few is a few weeks ago on the live video here. 
He said, yes, pastor, look at it. She wrote it again. Few minutes, she was crying. She gave up hope. No strength to pray again. She said, pastor, I've already packed my things. I've already taken some to the storage. But the things I need to take along with me, no helpers. Nobody could help me. I don't have money for cab. Put your hope in God. When men forsake you, she even called her friend. That one did not come to come and help her. Look at her comment. It's a truth told. True, true, true. Yes. That same God is called the God of the eleven hours. The last minute is going to show forth for you. Where they think they are going to see your nakedness, they are going to mock you, they are going to humiliate you. The Lord will show forth for you. Yes. Peter was being arrested, kept in the prison to stop the gospel. God sent an angel. Angels have to, even Peter was sleeping on. The Bible said the believer were praying for him. He smart Peter. He wake him up. Get up, Peter. Put on your clothes. Peter dressed himself up. Go and read this in the book of Acts 12. He put on his clothes. I think I shot that thing. Yeah. He put on his clothes. Oh, yeah. Let's go. The Bible said they passed the first gate, uh, the first guide and second guide. They get to the iron gate, and the iron gate opened by itself. Everybody know what iron gate means. God can do amazing things. Even the eyes of the guide was blind. They could not see them. The angels took Peter out of the prison. Peter thought he seen a vision. He thought he was dreaming. Until they passed the first guy, second guy, the iron gate, hoping for them. The gate that led to the city. That was when Peter realized, ah, oh my God, this is reality. It's not dreams. God is going to turn your miracle to reality. Those things, those wonderful things you see in the dream. The time to manifest in reality is now. If you believe, you are going to see the glory of God. Look at Lazarus. He died for how many days? Four good days. Book of John chapter 11. Lazarus died for four good days. Others were coming out of his body. I don't know. What is that order coming out? Where have you been mocked? Which area have you been humiliated? Which area people push you aside? The Lord is going to show forth for you. When Lazarus was so sick, they sent for Jesus. Jesus did not go. Because he wants to glorify the name of his father. He wants them to know that nothing that God cannot do. After Lazarus had died, four days, he said, let's go. Let's go and wake our, our friend, Lazarus. He's sleeping. He said, Master, if he sleep, he's fine. At least we get there. Just wake him up. They didn't know he was talking of the sleep of death. Four good days in the grave, smelly. Others, even when he tell them, take away the stone. They said, by now, it must be smelly. Why? Others could have been coming out of there because he had been laid there for four days, four days. Not day one, two, three, four, four days. Not before I was so four good days. Jesus said, if you believed, you are going to see the glory of God. Did you believe? I am asking you questions. Did you believe? The same God that did it for violence, that will be doing it for others, is going to do it for you. It's your time for your own miracles. Do you want to witness miracles? 
Grab that, say yes. And God is going to do it for you, darling. It's your time. Write and say, it is my time for God to come true for me. It is my time. It is my time, my season. Number nine is the number of giving birth. Baby can't continue staying in the womb. The night multi must come out. This is your time for your document to be released. This is your month that your miracle will be released. This is your month your blessing will be released. This is your month of testimony, your month to carry your evidence. It's your month of harvest when you plant a, a, a product. Time will come to harvest. When you plant a yam, when time comes, you will harvest the yam. This is your time of harvest. Every good thing you have sown, you will harvest it. The Lord will come true for you. May the book of remembrance be open for us this month in the name of Jesus. The book of reward. The book of reward. The Lord will reward everyone. He said, I will reward those who diligently seek him. You will not eat food meant for beggars. Yes, he said to Archer, his feet is deep in the oil and he will eat food meant for royalty. You will eat food meant for royalty. You will not eat food meant for beggars. You will never again eat in the dustbin. That same God will do it for you. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. The Lord will come true for you. Which help do you need from him? He said, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. Everyone that seek, they find. Everyone who knock, the doors are open. Everyone who ask, they receive. Matthew 7 7. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. Matthew 7 7. Has and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that has get received and that who seek find. And him that knocketh, it shall be open. Let me tell you, everything you ask, God is going to give it to you. He is a rewarder. I come to bring this positive message of God to you. I'm here to lift up your spirit today. To lift up your hope. That area you're giving up, don't give up. Don't bury the last that is in your hands. God will show forth for you. Don't give up. You are about to make a decision. You want to leave that country because you think the country is not good. The Lord's going to show forth for you. You are here. Don't make that decision. God can see blessing in that place. Yes. The same God that did it for others. He's going to do it for you. He is going to do it for you. Amazing God. You only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. 
<laughs> Look the book of John chapter 11 verse 17. On this on his arrival Jesus find that Lazarus have already been in the tomb for 4 days. How long that things have died? God can resurrect it. That thing you think is gone, buried. On arrival, Jesus find out that Lazarus is gone. For how many days? Four days. Dead. Buried. Buried. That's another difficult one. The one we saw before in the book of Luke. We find out that that man was about to be buried. Lazarus was already buried though, four days in the tomb. That one, no hope again now. Have never seen anybody who can still have hope there. At least when you're about to bury it, you have given up hope, but something can still happen. Father Lord, before he reach there, let, this, let something happen. But this one was buried, buried four days on the tomb. Just as Jesus himself was there for three days. On the third day, he resurrected. That thing the enemy have killed. That thing the enemy have taken. That your document that be in the home office for how long? One year, six months, two years, three years. I don't know how long. God is about to shock him. The miracles of the 11 hours is about to happen. Yes, listen to me. The miracle is going to happen. Yes. That thing is coming back to life. Your blessings are coming back to life. Your miracles are coming back to life. God is restoring back your joy. It's restoring back that which you have lost. Amazing God, you all they come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you all they come true for me. Amazing God. God bless you, mommy. Amazing God. You all they come true for me. Amazing God. Four good days. He find out that Lazarus had been laid in the tomb. I don't know how long. That document is there. That business has been waste for how many years? One of my daughter in America. She said. Mommy, my business has been there for over two years now. Nobody will ask, what are you selling? The business was dead gone. The money she invested was just there. First thing the Lord showed me was a fly flying around the business. Fly passion on it. You know what that means? That means dead spiritually. When death, when something is dead, you see ants fly with passion on it. I prayed with her, which we are still praying. But God has started doing something. That same God that resurrected the dead man is going to bring your business back to life. It may be your business. It may be your document. It may be your womb. It may be your marriage. It may be your future, your destiny. That thing the enemy think, they think they have killed. They have succeeded. Don't give up hope. Jesus can do it. He that brought Lazarus back to life will bring it back. That document is about to come out. You are going to hear good news. It's not by power, it's not by man, but the Spirit says the Lord of hosts. Don't give up. He's going to come true for you. Don't give up. The word the enemy can do is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But God is the God of restoration. He's a God 
that can bring the dead back to life. It's the God that said, I will restore the years the locusts have eaten, the years the enemy have stolen. Devil said, I come to steal. God said, I come to restore back the years the locusts have eaten. The devil said, I have come to kill. God said, I have come to resurrect. I come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That thing that they have destroyed, the Lord is bringing it back. They are coming back to life. The dry bone will rise again. Amazing God, you only come true for us. Amazing God. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, it will always come true for you. Amazing God. Joseph, the Lord is going to come true for you. Yes. God Almighty, Mama Mary, is going to come true for you. Your testimony is going to shake the world. That which the enemy thought they have done. Right now, they already, even, even then, they self are sleeping. Because they think they are finished it. God said it's rolling away that stone. That stone they have put up meat. He's rolling it back. He's rolling it back to sender. He's rolling it away. That which that died is coming back to life. This is a word for you, Mama Miriam. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you only come true for me. Amazing God. Have he said it that he have not done it? I was of darkness is over. This is your morning of joy. That same God that have never let your nakedness to be seen, that never allowed them to have a final say over you, he always, he was always there for you. But now he's about to do amazing things for you. Amazing God, you all let to, you all let come true for me. Amazing God. John 11, verse 21, Lord Martha said to Jesus, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask for. Faith. He said, even now, I believe that God will give to you whatever you ask for. Hmm. Jesus said to her, I am the, res the resurrection and the life. The one who believed in me will live. Although they died and they will live. <laughs> and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe? Question mark. Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the son of God. Who is to come into the world? After she, had, after she had said that, she went back and called her sister, Mary, aside. The teacher is here, she said, and he asked, is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. And Jesus had not yet entered the village, but she was still at the place where Martha met him. When the Jews saw, <laughs> when the Jews who had been with Mary in the house comf comforted her, noticed how quickly she got up and they went out and followed her. Surprising, she was going to the tomb to mourn his brother. But Mary reached the place where Jesus was. He saw him and fell at his feet 
and said, Lord, if you have been here, my brother will have not have died. Her sister said the same thing, Martha. Mary said the same thing. If you are here, our brother could have not died. 33, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jewish who had come along with her also wept, he was deep moved in the spirit and troubled. Hallelujah. What have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, he replied. Jesus wept. And then the Jewish said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not him who opened the eyes of the blind man, he kept his, he kept this man for dying. Hmm. That a Jesus once more deep moved, came to the tomb. It was covered with a stone laying across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time, there is a bad order. He has been laying for four days. Fourteen, then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So they took away the stone. When Jesus reached there, he said, take away the stone. They were telling him, he had been there for four days. By now, there's a bad order coming out of there. He said, do I not tell you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you believe, the Lord is going to do amazing things for you. If you believe, you are going to see the resurrections of God. If you believe, you are going to see the miraculous power of God. All you need is to believe. Did you believe? It's a question mark. Did you believe that God is able? Did you believe? Please, I want every one of you to answer this question. If you are still with me, answer this question, yes or no, do you believe? It? This was a question mark Jesus asked. Did you believe? It? If you believe, you are going to see the glory of God. If you believe, you are going to see the amazing thing that the Lord is going to do for you. Amazing God, you all have come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you will only come true for us. Amazing God. I must say yes. If everyone is still here, did you believe? Violet, do you believe? Joseph, do you believe? If you believe, you are going to see the glory of God. Amazing God. You will only come true for us. Amazing God. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you believe, you are going to see the resurrection power of God. If you believe, you are going to see the miracle of God. Did you believe? Did you believe? Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. Sing that song. Granddad, are you still there? Do you believe? Mama Miriam, if you are there, let me see your comments, ma. Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. If you believe, you are going to see the salvations of God. If you believe, you are going to see the miraculous power of God. If you believe, join us on the prayer line. If you believe, you are going to see the blessings of God. If you believe, you are going to see the turnaround. The miracle the Lord is going to give you. He said, the Jesus you see right now, you shall see them no more. If you believe. Amazing God, 
you will always come true for me. Amazing God. If you believe, you will see the blessing, the salvation, the miraculous power of God. If you believe, you will see God doing things again. If you believe, you are going to see the manifestations of, of God's power in your life. All you need is to believe. Believe. Mommy, I have. Mommy, here I. How are you? Or here are you? Hello, daughter. I'm, I'm on the prayer line. Join us, okay? I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Okay, darling. You watch it later. God bless you, dear. Bye, mom. If you believed, that was the question mark. La Pasco, do you believe? Do you believe God is able to do it again? Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will always show forth for me. Amazing God. I want every one of you to share. Look at our numbers is few. By now, you must have evangelized. By now, you must have bring two or three people to the prayer line. Assignment of evangelism is not only for one person. It's all of us. That is assignment God has given to us. I know the country where we are, our time may have not been the same. But anytime we are alive, Evangelina, the Lord will do for you what you could not do for yourself. All right? The Lord will show forth for you. He's an amazing God. He's a God of miracles. He's a God of signs and wonders. If you believe, you are going to see the glory of God. Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you will only come true for me. Amazing God. That God will show forth for you. That miraculous power God, the God of miracles, the God of signs and wonders, the God that will never allow you to be put to shame, that same God will do it again and again and again. Amazing God, you will always come true for me. Amazing God. I'm still reading the book of John 11, verse 40. And Jesus said, do, do I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? 41, so they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Thank God for always hearing your prayers. Even before you receive that which you pray for, have you thanked God? Elvis, God bless you, darling. Please pray for my business, my family, so that we will live together happily. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your desire is granted, Evis, in the name of Jesus. May God unite your family together. Bend them together with a love that can never be broken. I pray for unity. Every spirit of disunity in your family is broken today in the name of Jesus. That power causing disunity that make your family to have stripes, that make them have trouble, Hatred. Today, may the Lord break and remove it out. Let it be uprooted, the seed of wickedness in your family. May God bind your family together with the love of God. May God unite them together with the love of Jehovah in the name of Jesus. I pray for the miraculous power of God. Let it begin to happen in your family in Jesus' name. Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. May God do that miracle for you. 
That thing that no man can do, the Lord will do it. That thing that no woman can do, the Lord will do it. The Lord will come through for you. The Lord will settle your case. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will open the doors of miraculous for you. He will do the amazing thing for you. Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. May the Lord come true for you. May the Lord answer you speedily without delay. May your miracles, may your miracle be delivered in the name of Jesus. May the Lord answer you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, may God answer for you that which you could not do for yourself. May the Lord do it for you in the name of Jesus. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. What is not possible with man? With God is possible. God will build your home again. God will unite your family again. The same God will come true for you and pay your debt. Evangelina, I know you are in debt. But God is going to show forth for you. People always promise and they fail, but this time, the helper God is going to send to you is going to pay it without even promise. He will just do it, but you will know it is God that has done it. That same God will never abandon you. The same God that we serve. This God is called the God of miracles. The God of miracles. The God of signs and wonders. It's called the amazing God that will already come true for you. In the time that no one is there, God will be there. In the time that no helper, no one to help you, he will sit down and help you. Amazing God, he will only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will only come true for us. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will always be there for us. Amazing God. This God will always be there for you. This God will always be there for me. This God will always show forth for us. Anytime, any day, any hours. Don't be afraid. Your flight is not going to crash. Don't be afraid your car is not going to have accident. Don't be afraid your business is not going to die. The Lord is going to breathe on that business. The Lord is going to expand you. The Lord is going to breathe on that little in your hands. The Lord is going to multiply it. Your seed is going to grow like the mustard seed. Yes, you start little, but don't worry. The same God of it that made the possibility to become possible. Is going to do it. You will not bury the only thing you have. You will not bury the only child you have. You will not bury your anointing. You will not bury your blessing. The Lord is going to show forth for you in the name of Jesus. Amazing God. You will always show, you will always come true for us. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will only come true for us. Amazing God. I'm still reading the book of John. John chapter 11. I'm reading verse 41. So they took away the stone and Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you. Thank you that you always hear me. I know that you always hear me. I thank you that you have heard me. And I thank you that you always hear me. Thank God for hearing your prayers. There are many that pray God do not hear them. Because of their sin. Their sin has made God turn deaf ears. Thank God that you have a God that can hear you. Father Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you always hear me. I thank you that you never turn a deaf ear towards me. Thank you, because you are the God that answers prayers. Thank you. 
You are a miracle working God. The faithful father. The God that can behold the liquidity. Thank you that you always hear me, the amazing God. Thank you that you always come true for me. You always come true for me. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. That court case, the Lord is going to favor you. Yes, you made mistake. It was not your fault. That was mistake. But the Lord will have mercy. God will sit, sit at a judge that day. He's going to represent you. That which you fear will not happen. You will not go to prison. The Lord will have mercy on you. Amazing God. It will all come true for you. Amazing God. Listen and listen well. That same God is going to do it again and again. He's going to prove to you all you need is to stand still and see the blessings, the salvation, the deliverance, the miracle the Lord is about to do. He's going to do it again. That which you fear will not happen. Yes, hear me and hear me well. Good news is coming. I can hear the sound of good news. Someone is about to testify. Someone is about to testify. Good news is going to happen. Good news are knocking. If that is for you, say congratulations. Father, I thank you. Congratulations to me. Father, I thank you. If that is for you, type it, say congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to me. Oh, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations to me, Father, I thank you. Type it. I can hear the sound of good news. I can hear the sound of good news. You are about to testify. The Lord is about to do something for you. Something miraculous. Something that you will dance and celebrate. Your story is about to change. Yes. Good news are coming. You are about to receive good letters. Letters that carry good news. Letter of congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, Kingsley. Congratulations. Something wonderful is about to happen. Something miraculous. Something marvelous is about to happen. Yes, God is about to turn the table around for your favor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is your month of joy. This is your month of testimony. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. May the Lord always come true for you. That which you believe in God for. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. On the first of this month, the Lord has us to sow 29. Please don't miss it. If you miss it, that is for you. I have sold my own. If you were with us on the prayer, we did. On the night of 31st stroke, on the first, the Lord says, sow a seed of 29. Two represent 2,000. We are in the year 2009 represent this month, the ninth month. I did my less than six hours. The Lord did miracle for me. Yes, I have nothing on my account, but I saw. The Lord did miracle for me. If you are obedient, you are going to see the blessings of God. You want to give your seed, this is a seed. 29, 2 and 9. 
Give it. This month is a seed the Lord has us to sow. Sow it. And you are going to see the blessings of God. Nine means fruitfulness. It means giving bets. It means miracles. Betting a child out is a miracle. That which you believe in God for. Trust God. Do it. I did my because me, I don't practice, I don't I practice what I preach. If the Holy Spirit say give, I'm the first person, and God will be faithful to me. Bless me more and more. Anything that comes to do with a two and nine, do it. Okay? Do it, and you are going to see the blessings of God in your life. Two and nine, two and nine, 29. Just two and nine. It may look little, but go and see what God is about to do in your life. God is about to change your situation. He's about to change your situation. He's about to change your situation with that. Amazing God, you will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. Jesus, thank God. He said, thank you that you have heard me. Thank you that you always hear me. There are two different times given. Jesus did. Before he even performed the miracle. The first time given that Jesus did it was to thank God. I'm reading from the book of John. John chapter 11. John chapter 11 verse 41. They saw so they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always heard me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here. That they may believe that you have sent me. A benefit of everyone hearing me right now. Anytime I pray, the Lord always hear me. Look me, I'm Pastor Esther Emmanuel. God has never failed me one day. My prayer has never been wasted. If I pray for you, I prophesy for you. Take it to the bank. It will not bounce back. Everyone in this ministry know that. You are sick, I pray for you. That sickness is gone. Except you don't have faith. If you have faith. Believe it. It is gone. The same God that did it is going to do it for you. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. This is your time with God. And the Lord will always come true for you. That same God will never abandon you. He's going to come true for you. He's going to do it over and over and over again. 43. When he has said this, Jesus called in a loud voice. Lazarus! Comfort. Lazarus. Comfort. The dead man came out. His feet, his hand and his feet was wiped with a knee neck cloth around his face. And Jesus said to them, take off his grave clothes and let him go. Take off his grave clothes and let him go. That grave clothes they have put upon you, the garment of death, Take it off and let him go. I don't know the coverage they used to cover you. Your document, your star, your destiny. Fire! Fire of God, consume it now. Heavy cloud of darkness covering your glory, your blessing. Cloud of darkness. Witchcraft coverage, I command it to burn now. Fire of God! Shakata! Burn them to ashes. Destroy every witchcraft powers working against the children of God. 
I comfort everything that they have killed or buried in your life. Jesus comfort Lazarus. Lazarus came forth. Your blessings are coming forth. Your miracle are coming forth. Your destiny is coming forth now in the name of Jesus. I call your blessing to come back to life. I call your destiny, your glory, your marriage, your ministry, your business to come forth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, comfort Lazarus. Your Lazarus is coming forth. That which the enemy have killed, they have buried. He have been laying waste there in the home office for how long? How many years now? How many months? The time has come for the Lord to bring it back. Your womb are coming back. Your business are coming back. Your destiny are coming back. Your marriage is coming back. In the name of Jesus, God fought. The Bible said the dead man obeyed the voice of God. Everything in your life are coming back to life. Your business are coming back to life. Your marriage, your business, your ministry. Everything concerning you, your children, your everything are coming back. Yes, resurrection is coming. Your laughter are coming back. Your business, your ministry, your destiny are coming back. Receive life more in abundantly in the name of Jesus. Grave clothes, fire of God, born to ashes. Every grave clothes. Garment of death, garment of sickness, garment of affliction. Fire in the name of Jesus. Born to ashes. Born to ashes. Every disgrace. Every hardship. Please share, 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 share. Let our number increase. Share to people. Share in the name of Jesus. Share my disgrace. Fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. In the trust of Lucifer. Shame and disgrace, cash fire. Affliction, cash fire. Negativity, cash fire. Sickness, cash fire. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire. In the name of Jesus. Reka poko toto. Reka kakata Fire in the name of Jesus. That dead business they think they have killed is coming back to life. That dead potential. That dead anointing are coming back to life. That dead business are coming back to life. That dead marriages are coming back to life. That dead glory are coming back to life. In the name of Jesus. Dead marriages are coming back to life. Dead business are coming back to life. Dead potential are coming back to life. Dead business receive life. In the name of Jesus. Receive life more in abundantly. I call it forth. I come your marriage forth. I call your ministry forth. I call your destiny, your glory in the name of Jesus. Restorations of your ministry. Restorations of your anointing. In the name of Jesus. Amazing God. You will all come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will all come true for me. Amazing God. The same God that have never let me see shame. The same God that has shown forth for me will show forth for you. The same God that have covered my nakedness will cover your nakedness. The same God that have performed miracles, signs and wonders for me. He's going to do it for you over and over in the name of Jesus. May the Lord cancel your debt. May the Lord show forth for you. I come for your miracles. Your ministry receive now in the name of Jesus. Amazing God. Join us on prayer line. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you will only come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, we always come true for you. That God is called a miracle walking God, the God of signs and wonders, the God that can do all things. 
the God that can perform miracles. He is the same God. That same God that we serve. Amazing God. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. God bless you, darling. Elizabeth, you are blessed. You will always come true for me. Amazing God. This day is your time with the Lord. That is why they call the Sabbath. Sabbath means rest. Jesus said, come. Come unto me, those who are weary and heavy laden. Come with your problem. That worriness, come with it. Come with that sorrow. Come with that persecution. Come with that sickness. And I will give you rest. Jesus said he's going to give you rest. He's going to give you rest in the name of Jesus. Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. You will all let show forth for me. Amazing God. The Lord will show forth for you. The Lord will answer you. The Lord will turn your situation around. He has never failed. He's a failing God. He has never failed. He will not fail you. Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. This God will comfort for you. I want you to search this music. I think it may be different the way I sang it, but um, Mercy Chinwe is the one who sang this song. You will find it in YouTube. Before you know, you begin to flow with the song. But do you know since this song has been existing, I've never sang it. I only heard it. But three days now, you have been me in my inside me who me inside my heart my body right from on the 31st of august stroke on the on the first of september this month i'll be hearing the song amazing god it will always come true for you amazing god amazing god it will already come true for me. Amazing God. This is an announcement. On the 31st night stroke on the 1st when we did the all night. Go and watch that video if you haven't watched it. Processing the gate of the new month. The Lord said we should sow 29. Obeyed. Don't said you didn't hear it. You do it fine. If you don't do it, that become yours. But the obedient are going to do there, yeah, and they are going to see the reward. I did my immediately that twelve midnight. The moment I feel my prayer line, I did my twenty nine to represent double and two thousand nine represent giving birth. It represents miracle. That nine. Two nine, give two nine. I gave 29. 29. Two nine, you are sowing it as a seed. There's a way of giving as the Holy Spirit lead you. But even if you are giving offering, don't miss it together. That two nine, give it different. Two nine is your seed of this month. And wait and see what God will do. I did my with these six hours. The Lord showed forth for me on the 1st of September. With these six hours, I received my own miracle. And that miracle is still making me happy even till now. I am still happy. Amazing God. It will only come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. It be all a come true for me. 
Amazing God. That dead marriage are coming back to life. Your documents are coming back to life. Your business, your ministry, your happiness, your glory is coming back. Say Lazarus comfort. Your miracle is coming back. You are going to give birth to your miracle. This is a month of giving birth. Number nine is a number of miracle. You push at your miracle comfort. The next thing doesn't say, congratulations, mother. It is a boy. Congratulations, it is a guy. Congratulations, it is a twins. Connect to this month. Blessings will come to you. May the Lord feed your home with blessings. You are a business owner, so 29 into your business. 29. So it into your business. Everyone know here. I've never asked for when it comes to seed and specific amount, except if the Lord lay it, if the Holy Spirit said it. And this was being said on the first, which the other night we did 31st to on the first. 29, 29 is a miracle seed. So it into your business. So it into that you are believing God for. Give it and prove God if you will not do it. May God continue to answer your prayers. This is your month of celebration. You will not lack. Mark it. You are not going to lack. This month, doors are open for you. This month, God is going to do it again and again. Don't be afraid. This is a month of faith. This is a month you hold on to God himself to do it again. Trust him. If you believe, you are going to see the glory of God. The glory of God is going to manifest. It's going to show forth. It's amazing God. Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. Mama Mary, the Lord have seen your tears. Violet, your tears, the Lord have seen it. What it did for you is small compared with what is about to do. La Pasco, God is going to do it again and again. Your miracle have no boundary. Promise the same God who did it for your daughter is going to do it for you. Amazing God, you will always come true for me. Amazing God. The Lord will answer all the prayers. God said, pack lock and be broken. If you're on the prayer line of the 31st, go and watch that video. The title is Processing the Gate of the New Month. God told us, he said, the pack lock have be broken. The Holy Spirit have break the pack lock that have locked your destiny. The key that they used to lock your business, your marriage, your ministry have be broken. That means you are free. Your blessings are released. Your documents are released. Your glory are released. Father Lord, I thank you. Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. All let come true for us. Amazing God. That same God will do it for you. He has never leave you nor forsake you. That same God that has not abandoned you will not abandon you now. That same God that has been with you is going to be with you. In the end of the age, he will not leave you nor forsake you. I bless every one of you. You are blessed by the blessings of the Lord. May God bless you from above. May God bless the work of your hands. May God bless your home, bless your marriage, bless your ministry. Everything you seek, 
receive in the name of Jesus. Receive your blessings. Receive your miracles. May the doors of miracle be open for you. May God give you favor in the eyes of men. I pray for miracles for you. May the Lord come true for you. Even in the last minute, it's going to show forth. The clock will never get to the end before God show forth for you. Before the time, the deadline, the Lord will show forth for you. Don't give up. Keep on trusting him. He did it before and he's going to do it again. May God bless every one of you. May God bless your marriage, bless your ministry. Bless the work of your hands. Shower you with blessings in the name of Jesus. It is well with you and your household. I'm going to leave you right now. By God's grace, if God strengthens me, I'll be back to do night prayer later. All right? But right now, I bless you. May your desire be granted. May God turn the table around to favor you. If you are just coming, don't forget to rewind this video. Amazing God, you will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you will always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you will always come true for us. Amazing God. We have our way of giving. If you want to give your offering, you want to give your seed. Those in America, we have cash up. We have paper. We have a UK account number, which is the source code and account number. We have Nigeria account number. There's a way of giving if you want to give. May the Lord give and bless you. The Bible says, give never lack. When you are giving, don't expect that you are getting back from who you give to. You are not giving to me. You are giving it to God. The God that sees what you give will see what happens in the secret will now reward you hopefully. When you are giving your offering, don't look oh I'm giving to pastor. No. Because pastor can reward you. Say, God, I'm giving to you. He that see what happened in the secret will not reward you. The Bible says, give and never lack. He that sows sparingly will eat sparingly. Every seed you have given, may the Lord multiply it. May your seed not die. Your seed, God will water your seed. It will grow and become the largest. The monster seed. As it so, the same year it reap on refold. You will not beg to feed your family. If you still not have, the Lord is going to bless you. So that the spirit of poverty will be destroyed. Poverty is not a good thing to be proud of. The Lord will break the cause of poverty. Today I pray for every one of you. As you give, the Lord will multiply that little. The cause of poverty is broken in the name of Jesus. You will not smell poverty again. The garment of royalty will be activated in your life in the name of Jesus. Your honor will be, will be restored. May God restore back the crown in your head. May God restore back your dignity, your honor, your glory in the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of you. Your doors are open. May your desire be granted. I pray for the sick, receive your healing. That pain in your body, I command it to leave you now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. May God heal you. You are healed. They say by scribe, we are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. May God take away your sickness. May God take away that pain out of your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of you. 
that little thing you have started, that little business, the Lord is going to expand. May God bless the work of your hands. May God breathe into your business. May your business become a business that will bring glory to God. May God enlarge your business. Enlarge your territory in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Your business will not die. That thing you are doing, God don't bless empty hand. That business, start something. That work you are going, God will bless you. He will bless the work of your hands. You will not beg. Start looking, ask God to direct you. Let me tell you, this is not a ministry where we tell you, don't go to work and believe for miracle. No. Either you are doing business or you are working. But the thing you are doing, that's what God is going to bless. Okay? Don't believe that when people tell you, be sleeping, and money will get to fall from the sky. No. The time of manna have passed. That thing you are doing, say, I will bless the work of your hands. The Tanonomy 8, verse 18, and the God that given the ability to get wealth. God will give you the ability. All the thing you need, the power to get wealth, he will give it to you. But you must have something that you are doing. God said, Isaac, sow in the land. Isaac have a seed. That is why he sow it. That seed, that seed that God has sowed, that is that seed that you have that you are sowing, that's what God is going to water. Rain will come upon your seed. Your seed will grow. Before you know, your seed will become a tree. A tree now have branches. Branch now, now start having fruit. Then you start harvesting. That business that you are doing, the Lord is going to bless that business. Your business is going to grow. Your business is going to multiply. God bless you, great woman of God. <laughs> Pastor Jen, and now they come, late comma. I'll be calling you since so that you come and sing. Eh? Why are mistress? <laughs> Amazing God. You will all come true for me. Amazing God. Now we are going to round up. This is where you are coming. Hey, I know you slept off. I'm waiting for you. We have been calling you since. We are not two hours, 22 minutes video. I think you slept off. Amazing God. It will all come true for me. Amazing God. That same God is going to come true for you. That little seed called the monster seed. That little business is not going to die. The Lord is going to water it. The Lord is going to bless it. It will turn it to become the largest. The Bible says Isaac so He has a seed. God is the one that gives seed to the sower. If you don't have seed, ask him. Say, Father, give me a seed to sow. But don't eat your seed, though. If you eat your seed, you will, hung, you will go hungry. That seed, when you sow it, the seed will now multiply. Do you see, people, when you sow one seed of a corn, the corn will grow and will now bring, bring how many? A lot of seed is not coming back with one. Normally, corn only have two, right? Two corn. But when you open the corn, but you sow one seed, though, only one corn self, you will eat it and you'll be full. But if you eat one seed, you can't be full. That is what God does for his children. Though I don't believe in a pray, pray, and you are not doing something. God is not blessing empty hand. It's what you are doing. He said, I will bless the work of your hands. He said, the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, which so, it, must, it may be the smallest, but it will become the largest. That seed in your hands, 
That business you are doing, that job you are doing, that's where God is going to bless you. He will promote you in that business. That business, that work you are doing, you will get promotion. You become the, 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 the you, you may start late you before you know. Because of the grace of God, you'll be promoted to a higher rank. Where pay job. That little business, that water business you are doing, the Lord will, will send the rain. Your business will boom, expand. Tarnational connection. But you must have what you are doing. Don't do people. Don't go and do 419. God is not going to bless you in that. Or even if you do people, don't call it blessing. That is cause. If you are in this platform, you are hearing me and you are a fraud. You are a yahoo, yahoo. Stop it. Start doing right business. God will bless you. Because one day they are going to catch you. You are going to pay for it. Because everybody, you are make them to cry. You are going to be the one to cry back. But allow God to bless you. When God bless you, does not add the sorrow. Allow God to multiply you. Open your hands. Say, Father, bless the work of my hands. Father, I open my hands to you. The little I have, multiply it. Bless the work of my hands. Bless it, Lord. That business I'm doing, that work I'm doing. Father, Lord, bless me. In the name of Jesus, may I not lose my job. That thing you are doing. In the Bible, the only person God instructed not to work is the priest, is the pastor. Yes. He said, do not give them any inheritance. Every other people say, go and walk. The reason he said to the prince, because they are the one who are praying for the people. They are the one who seek you, bring your children. Pastor, we pray for you. But you that walk, you come and give your offering. Give your tithe, your seed in the house of God. That's where the pastors are fading from. But if you are that person receiving prayers and you are not giving, I'm sorry for you. You are just deceiving yourself. Because there's no way blessing out there if you don't give to God. He said, do not muzzle the, 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 the horse that fed you. When you are saying, oh, I will not give because of pastor, you are telling God, you don't deserve my offering. I cannot give to you. You are not doing the pastor. You are doing. You you are directing to God. Let's change our mentality. I know they have messed everything up. They are still right pastor out there. They are still genuine one. Who you call twenty four hours, they will be there for you to pray for you. Your offering, you are giving it to God. You are not giving it to them. Give to God. He said, "No shall appear before me empty." Is an instruction. No matter how small it is, as you come to the house of God, give. Say no as you come, make sure you drop your offering. Don't say this is an online. It may be online, but it's the house of God. You are being blessed. You receive prayer there. It may be small. Anything the Lord lay in your heart, drop it. That's where the blessing comes from. Okay? Because you are giving, you are honoring God. You are not honoring the pastor. Some people say, Nami, you can't give pastor me. Like me, Nami, woman of God. Do I look hunger to you? God has blessed me. You give your free, don't give that. That does not make me not to be blessed. Because he's my provider. He will only come true for me. Every day I'm glowing. Every day I'm beautiful. Every day I'm wonderful. Because even me, myself, I'm a product of giving. I give. That is where my blessing comes from. I give. I am a dangerous sower. I sow and I give. So my blessing, I will never be lack. Okay? So let us learn that. Lord, don't let people deceive you. Because social media these days, they are taught the things of God to outside that. Pastor has come up. There are, there are a lot of pastors who has come up. The Bible already makes us know. It says, many are called, few are choosing. Many are confused. God did not say that people will come. Native daughter will just put and say, I'm not a pastor. 
Does that make Native Doctor a pastor? No, God knows his own. Hassari pastor does not make him a pastor of God. He may be a pastor of a, a Lucifer. He may be a satanic pastor. That name, pastor, I apostle, whatever. It does not mean you are Hassari that name. You are Hassari to God. Every evil after our home be uprooted by the hand of God, the Father and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, Grace. It is well with you for the prayer you prayed. So that is it. Because God is not everybody that has a pastor, apostle, make them a man, a true, genuine man of God. God knows his own. Okay? God knows the one that he called. That's why I say many are called, few are choosing. He said, by their full step, you shall know them. With what they do, you will know. You cannot call, say, this is a pastor, and you see he's doing ritual, like the one they exposed the other day. See somebody, dead body that is using for charm you still call that is a pastor no that is satan itself that is not a pastor it may be a pastor but it's a satanic pastor the bible said time will come even the anti will call fire from heaven devil said we call fire from heaven from heavens but that does not make him uh, 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 it's not only pastors or men of god can call fire Devil said can cut fire and the fire will come down. Does that make them genuine? No. He said, by their footstep, you shall know them. Let us be careful. They are fake out there. He said, time will come. They will say, Christ is here, dead, dead, dead. He said, be careful. It's not Christ. Antichrist. They will say, Jesus is there. He's there. He's there. If you are sensitive in the spirit, that's why God has given you the spirit of discernment. You can tell if this is real or fake. It's just a matter of time, you will know. May the Lord open our eyes to see the right one. May God help us to be connected to the right people. May God not allow us to be connected to the wrong authors. All wrong author will pollute you. The day you start worshiping that altar, that day you start dreaming strange dreams. That day, especially if they lay hands on you, if wrong men of God lay hands on you. Satanic men, not even men of God, should not use that. You That day, start dreaming, see yourself in the river. That we see the day you, you dream, you see yourself sleeping with a sampet. Because they are not genuine. They are evil, they carried. But when a genuine one lay hands on you, your heavens will be open. Things will begin to work well. Everything will go well. I pray for restorations in the name of Jesus. May God open our eyes to see the right one. May God open our eyes in Jesus' name. We are delivered. I'm going to round up because I need to go and rest. Today is my resting day. It's called the Sabbath of rest. Let me go and rest. By God's grace, if I can come later, I come for prayer, just for prayer. This is just a word of encouragement. Don't give up. God will always come true for you. We have read the book of John 11. We saw the story of Lazarus, how God came forth for Lazarus. And we read the book of Luke. What happened to the widow woman that about to bury her only sons? We saw the stories. We talk about Abraham. How Abraham about to sacrifice his only son. God came forth for him. Hey guy, his sons, the only son was about to die of tasting. God provide water. The same God that gave water from the rock. That same God is here. Yes, so I am one of the products of your help hands. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> mommy, you because you talk your own now. God will continue to bless you and flourish you in all areas. Amen. I receive it, man. Thank you. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God will always bless us and make us a giver. Because when God says, I will bless you and make you a blessing, may God bless us and make us a blessing to the world. All right? You cannot be praying for blessing and you are holding on to the one you have. Even if it's nothing, don't hold on to it. When I hold on to this, when blessings come, I cannot release. But if I release it, 
blessing can come. Why? Because my hand is not empty. You see? When your hand is empty like this, another thing can come in. But if you hold on to it like this, one, this is one error. You hold on. Milio is coming because you are holding on. Milio, you don't know this is Milio. But if you open it, Milio will come. It will represent one error. Because that Milio, that one error, you already give it. But if you hold on to one error, and Milio is coming, it will wait, wait. As you refuse to hope, it will go back and give it to another person. That is how stinginess is. Stinginess, when it comes to things of God, don't be stingy. Anybody poor, the need is, and the Holy Spirit lead you, help them. Lead you, you can share with them. It can be food, it can be anything. Share with them, have compassion. Love your neighbor as yourself. Care for them. Put yourself in the shoe if, they are the, if you are the one going through what they are going through. Do you know how many rich people that become poor today? Some of them, when they were rich, they could not help. And now God now reverse it for them to taste it, how it look like. How it feel to be poor. So don't be saying you are rich today and become proud and arrogance. The same God that make you rich can turn you to a poor person overnight. For you to taste it, how it feel. But when you are rich and you help the poor, hardly you can go down because the Lord will always provide for you. Because you are always there, helping. You are only helping the poor, the needies. He will always put back to you. They can never see your downfall. God will all, even when they are pushing you back, God will sustain you. When you're about to fall, it will sustain you. When you're about to fall, it will sustain you. It will help you. You will keep on growing from glory to glory. The Bible says Isaac is worth keep on growing. He become very wealthy. His riches was great until he become very wealthy. But when you have Little, you call it richness, but God see you as poor. You have, and you refuse to give it, you hold on to it. Like Qigong, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, is it gum? Uh, silicon, is it silicon? That is that very well you use it to stick something. It, 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 it will stick it like, oh, I forgot if you know the name, just put it there. It will stick it like to remove it become problem. Is it silicon? No, is this I forgot the name. Like a gum, but there's another name they call it. It will just stick it like that. You hold on to it. Oh, I'm rich now. You are not the the uh, proud person. You are proud. You don't even worship God again. You don't help the poor. You don't help the need. But that money you can use it for arrogant things. You can use it to friends women. You have 10 women at the same time. God will make you taste it what poverty is one day. Then you will not know what it means to be poor. That's why you see, do you know a lot of people, this is not prayer, a lot of rich people that become poor. Why? Because the time of their glory, they forget the poor. The time of their glory, they forget the needies. The time of their glory, they forget the things of God. God said, I'm the husband to the widow, a help to the helpless. A father to the fatherless. Do you think God is coming? He's blessing you so that you can do that. He's empowering you so that you can help the poor, the widow, and the needy. Because God is a spirit. He's going to use it, looking for human beings to use. But when you become one of those positions, you become proud and arrogance. When he gives you a chance to repent and you don't repent, we now turn the table around like this. This time now, you that used to reach, you that used to drive car, you are now walking on your feet. For you to taste it, how it look like to be poor. Repent if you are here. Ask God for mercy. In any way, I be greed. I become like Akagom. When I was in my glory, Father, forgive me. Give me another chance. He's the God of another chance. He can still restore you back. He can still bring you back. If you repent genuinely, you know those. There was one program I was watching. This man of God, uh, what was his name? I think his name, I forgot his name. It's one uh, uh, apostle, is an Isha man. I was watching a program. 
there was one one lady the lady came to the deliverance service and the lady was saying that she was very very rich before that she refused to do the things of god i think pastor uh, apostle prince uh, that's the name of the man of god he said he was very rich but he refused he became arrogant to help anything that come to do with things of God. Even God were even calling her to ministry. She refused. But now she became poor. That hardly she can even find food to eat. Poor. She lost all her business. In a, in a very short period, everything began to crumble. God called her to ministry. She refused. All her riches, she refused to use it to help the poor. She was so greedy. Arrogance. She keep on buying share, keep on investing more money, never help anybody. So that is God you can see. This time now, he's crying if God will give him another. He's ready to serve God now. He's ready. I pray that that God of mercy, he will have mercy on her and restore her back again. So there are a lot of people out there like that. May God help us and help us. That little the Lord gave to you, share it. Help the poor, the needies. Maybe let you give it to them. Okay? You see beggars on your way. Check what you have. You may not have money. You may have food. You may not have food. You may have water. Share with them. And the Lord will bless you. God will make you a giver. It will make you, this, the Bible says, give never lack. May you not lack in the name of Jesus. May you not lack in the name of Jesus. May I not lack in the name of Jesus. Please keep on sharing. May God bless every hand that share in the name of Jesus. That amazing God. Remember, when the task collector came to Jesus, Jesus asked Peter, what can we do? Is this, so when Peter said, yes, we are supposed to pay. He said, okay, go to the river. The first fish you will catch, open the mouth. You will find a golden coin. Go and pay my debts and yours. Today, I pray for miracles. That debt you are owing, the Lord will pay it off in the name of Jesus. God knows you are owing that debt. Anything represented debt, may that same God come true for you in the name of Jesus. You will come out of that debt. You will be free in the name of Jesus. That thing that trouble you, may the Lord comfort for you. That God that comfort for that widow woman, a widow woman about to bury her only son, her only one, her only son. Jesus met her by the gate. The people of the city were crying along. On her way to cemetery, Jesus said, woman, don't cry. The people were carrying the coffee, has them to stand still. He went and touched the young man, said, get up. The young man stood up. The Lord will always come true for you, even at the last minute. Don't give up to him. It may be a few minutes. Few seconds is going to come true for you. You are going to receive a phone call. God is going to turn this around. He will come true for you. The God of the level hours. Your nakedness will never be seen. Hey guy, has so about to die for tasting the wilderness when Abraham sent them away. God come true for her. Yes. He never allowed that child to die. That same God will do it for you. Abraham about to kill her only son. God tested him. Go and sacrifice your son Isaac. Obedient. When about to sacrifice that child, God came forth for him. Look at Lazarus. Died four days. Smelly. Bad order were coming out. Jesus resurrected the dead, gone, buried. The Lord will come true for you. 
in your hard situation, your hard moments. That place is still cold. You have reached the limit. The Lord is going to come through for you. Amazing God, you will only come true for me. Amazing God. Where there is no purpose to wear your daughter. Your son, the Lord, came forth for you, right? Where you have no meal to feed that little child, the Lord will come forth for you. But the enemy wants you to abandon that child. The enemy wants you to go and throw that child away in the orphanage. You refuse. The Lord come true for you. You're about to do something that you could have regretted. God used somebody to stop you and he provide for you. The Lord will only come true for you. Remember those days. Remember those times, all that you went through. When there is no help, but God will always show forth. Do you think that same God is dead? No. He didn't die. He's alive. Amazing God. You will only come true for me. Amazing God. Your nakedness will not be seen. They are waiting. Almost. The deadline is coming. If he cannot pay, we will not disgrace him or her. God will not let that happen. He will show forth for you. They are about to throw you out in that house. But God has a better house for you. They are about to vacate you out. They are about to tell you today is the last day. They don't know God has better than them. That one. They gang up against you. They said today as he come, we will give her or him a sack letter. A day before that day, you, heard, you get a letter. I said, congratulations. The position has been given to you. That is the amazing God. As you go there to go and tell your boss, today is my last day. I don't think I will need this job again. The letter they hold, they will now chalk it like this. The letter they say they want to use to sack you. Now you come and give the letter. Sorry, boss, I find a new job. I'm resigning. Today is my last day. That letter the battle package give you, it will froze for their hand. The Lord will froze that letter. They cannot deliver it. The next day they will tear it. And I say, are you sure? He say, yes. God will turn this around. Your nakedness will not be seen. Yes. Your nakedness. God will not allow your nakedness to be seen. God will protect you and provide for you. God will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord give you a better place than the one where you are. The Lord will give you a better house than the one you, you lost or you lose. The Lord will bless you more than the way he blessed you before. The glory of this present shall be greater than the former. God will reward you with a better husband than that relationship you call that, that look like real, but is fake. This time, reward are coming. It will not be a counterfeit. It will not be angel of darkness present, pretend to be light. God will reward you with a good wife, a good husband. God will expand you. In the name of Jesus. The purpose of God for your life will be fulfilled. Amazing God. You will all lay country for me. Amazing God. Today, God is putting a crown of glory. You see the way my is. This is a crown. I am a royalty. My father is the king of kings. My father, he is the Lord of Lord. I am proud to say that I am the daughter of the kings of kings. I am proud to say that I am a daughter of the kings of kings. My God, my father is a royalty. 
carry yourself as one. Let them see that you are not ordinary. You are not ordinary person. You are different. You are beautiful, wonderfully made. You are not a beggar and God will never make you a beggar. You are a royal peacehold, a peculiar people, people that belong to God. He said, occupy until I come. How can a daughter of the kings, how can a son of a king beg? How can a son and the daughter of a king look ragged? No. You are a royalty. Carry yourself as one. My throne, I'm on my throne. My house is my throne. Now I'm in my bedroom. I may decide to do my video in my living room. My living room is beautiful. Like a, like a palace. Build a palace for yourself. Make your home a palace. Hi, Dali Adelina. God bless you, Dali. Because you are a king. You are a prince on this earth. You are a son and daughter of the king of kings. God is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. You are archer. Your feet are be deep in oil. He said you will eat, you will eat royal food. Yes. Celebrate yourself. Once in a while, celebrate yourself. You are beautiful. Thank you, Dali. Angelina, you are a royalty. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. Pastor Joy, you are a royalty. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. Mama Mary, you are a royalty. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. La Pasco, you are a royalty. You are handsome and wonderfully made in the image of God. Treat yourself as one. Don't let no man deceive you. I say, which one? Which palace did you? Tell them that your father is the king. Let them go, go, even go, go, recognize it. The king of kings, the Lord of Lords, they will refer you to the Bible. Yes, type it. Who is the king of kings? Who is the Lord of Lords? Yes, that is my father. Our father who art in heaven. Hello, I be the name. The kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Which will? Is it not the will of the king to be done on earth? Is the king's self coming? Is re you are representing him on earth. Our father who art in heaven, hello be thy name. The kingdom, kingdom come on earth. Kingdom, that word kingdom, it comes from the royalty. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom, the kingdom of God, come on earth. You are the one ruling on earth. The kingdom is coming down. Let it begin to manifest in your life. I'm not ordinary. I know. Few years ago, the Lord showed me, said, come my daughter, you are a queen like Esther. The crown of righteousness is in your head. You start, begin to carry yourself at once. Carry yourself like that. Let people know who you are. Your father is the king. Yes. Do the same. One of my platforms the Lord has me to open is called the Kings of King's Palace. Yes. The daughter of the Kings of King's Palace. That's the name. The other one is, is the, no, the sons, the sons and daughter of the King's Palace. 
the sons and daughters of the king's palace. The other one is just the sons and daughters of the kings. And we have it on YouTube, but I'm still working on it. What God is about to do? The Lord said he's going to bring his sons and daughters all over the world. For them to know who they are. They are royalty. God told me that. No sons and daughter of the king. That, that is a stranger or lost. Anytime they find their way back. That is going to accept them back. As they knock on the gate of the kings. They will be welcomed as a royalty. Yes. A lot many don't even know who they are. Many sons and daughters of the kings, they don't know who they are. They are lost. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. He said, Tell we can get to bring them, gather them all over the world. They are going to come to their father and know who they really are. That they are not ordinary. Many are suffering right now. Many are in the position where they don't supposed to be because they don't know who their father is. It's like a polygamous son, right? It's like someone you are suffering when you don't know that your father is a king. But the day you recognize that this is your father, the garment of poverty, the garment of strong, stress and stronghold is taken away. Your garment will be replaced with the garment of splendor, the garment of royalty. That was the Lord have told me. And it's going to fulfill it. I have never failed. Sons and daughters of the king of kings, they are going to come all over the world. They are going to come. God is going to gather them under one umbrella. The umbrella of Jesus Christ. For them to know who they really are. For them to know the identity, to identify who they are. Many don't know they have the power in them. That's why they are still afraid of witches and wizards. It's a greater is sin that is in you than the devil that is in the world. Until you know who you are, that you are born to win, how can you win? Until you know you have power, how can you use the power? That is it. Until you know the authority in you, how can you use the authority? But when you know you can use it, when the royalty walk into a place, when they carry themselves as royalty, they will be well respected because they know. But if they disguise themselves, they will not be known. Occupy until Jesus come. His kingdom must come on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, the Bible said the 24 elders, they lay down their crown and they worship him. You are here to worship God. No matter the blessing God has given you, no matter the riches, you lay down your crown and worship the King of Kings and worship the Lord of Lords and worship the Yahweh God. All you need is to worship Him. You are the Alpha and Omega. We worship you, my God. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all a glory. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. Worship him. Amazing God. You will all let come true for me. Amazing God. I don't want to forget this song. Because this song will be whomy, whomy, whomy from my heart. The Lord will comfort for you. He will make you know to the world who you are. You are not a son and a daughter of beggars. You are not a son of a daughter of devil. You are sons and daughters of God. He said we were redeemed. Revelation chapter 5. We were redeemed from languages, for kingdom, for nations, from people to become who? The kingdom 
and the prince that will reign on earth. The word of God never failed. It says we become a kingdom and a prince. Revelation chapter 5. Go and read it. The kingdom of God must come on earth as it is in heaven. Let it be fulfilled. May the purpose of God be manifest in our life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be glorious to you. Your time with the Lord will never be wasted. Everything you desire and you seek, may the King of glory do it for you. The one that said, come unto me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God himself is sitting at the Lord of the Sabbath to take care of you. May your need be, be, may your need be granted in the name of Jesus. Jesus told that woman, say you have great faith. Your desire is granted. Today I pray for you. No one come to God and go back the same way. No one come to the King of Kings and return back the same way. May God Almighty grant your desire. You are going back for fear. You are going back strengthened. You are going back refill. May the Lord refill you. Every venture that come out of you, may the Lord refill you. Abundant in the name of Jesus. May your cup overflow with plenty in the name of Jesus. May the goodness and the mercies of God follow you all the days of your life. And you and your household, we and our household, we do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the heavens over you be open. May the light of the Lord shine upon you and reveal every hidden things around you. You are a son and a daughter of the King of Kings. May the glory of God shine upon you and single you out. You see, arise and shine for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Pastor Joy, the God is rising upon you. No matter the thick darkness that cover the people, let us for you, the Lord will rise for you. His glory will appear over you. I pray for you, your sons and daughters. I pray for all our men, all our women. I pray, may the glory of God keep on shining on you. Mama Mary, and the glory of God will shine upon you. I pray for the glory of God to shine upon you, Samuel. I pray for the glory of God to shine upon you, La Posco. I pray for the glory of God to shine upon you, Violet. I pray for the glory of God to keep on shining. May the glory of his splendor be seen all over you. In the name of Jesus, you will occupy until God's cause. Yes. As Esther reign, you will reign. No man can take away your throne. Your throne of grace. Your throne of grace. No one can take it away. Your divine throne. No one can take it away. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, I thank you for making us beautiful and wonderfully made. Thank you for making us your signet ring. The representative of God on earth. Father, I thank you for the privilege given to us. Thank you, Father, for we are redeemed by your blood. Thank you for the authority and the power given to us. Father, Lord, we thank you for the place he gave to us, for giving us a roof over our head, for provide for us. For never let us to beg for bread. Thank you for cover our nakedness. Thank you for dressing us up. Thank you for everything. God, we are grateful. We are grateful for taking back what belongs to us. Thank you for the padlock is broken. Thank you that everything the enemy has stolen, the Lord is restoring back. Restorations are coming. Restorations are coming. He's amazing God. It will always come true for us. Amazing God. It will always come true for me. Amazing God. 
Amazing God, you will only come true for me. Amazing God. This month of September, the Lord has us to sow 29. If you are just coming and you haven't heard that, 29. Do it, 29. God will bless you. That was an instruction from the Holy Spirit. Amazing God. It will all come true for me. Amazing God. I've been here for three hours and five minutes. I'm going to round up. Father Lord, I thank you for everything. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for filling our heart with joy. Thank you. We are grateful. Thank you for making us know who we are. Thank you for our identity are, are being revealed. Thank you for redeeming us to become a royal peacehood. Thank you for making us a prince and a queen, a princess. Father, the kingdom of prince to rule on earth. Thank you for your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for your will be done in our life, in our home, in our marriage, in our ministry. Not our will, but your will. Thank you for everything. Thank you for blessing our food and water, for blessing our children. Thank you for restraining us. Thank you for refilling us back. Thank you for restoration. Where we fail, we will not fail again. Thank you for filling us back. Every venture that have gone out of us, thank you for refilling it back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and bear with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, if you are here today, you know you haven't given your life to Christ. And you are not sure and you say, oh, how can I be the sons and daughter of the king of kings? You must be born again. Yes. You must accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is the only way that you can become the kings, the daughters and the sons of the king of kings. Today, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Forgive all my sins. Have mercy. Many we have sinned against you. Have mercy. Come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. Cancel my name from the book of death. Let my name be written in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that you are the Messiah, the so coming King. You died after three days you resurrected. Father, Lord, from today, come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. Direct my way and show me the way. Thank you for redeeming me that I'm no more ordinary. I am now a son or daughter of the King. Thank you, Father. I am returning back to my Father. Thank you for redeeming me back. Thank you for accepting me. I am washed with the blood of Jesus. May the blood wash you and cleanse you. You are redeemed. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations for your prayers have been answered. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his glorious face shine upon you. The Lord smile at you. May the Lord give you peace. He said, My peace I have lived with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gave it. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I will always be with you to the end of the age. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. As I was with Joshua, I will be with you. As the Lord be with Moses, he will always be with you. As he was with Jesus Christ, he will be with you. The Holy Spirit is inside you. Greater I see that is in us than the devil that is in the world. Peace be with you. Peace of restorations. Peace to you, the sons and the daughter of God. Peace, sons and daughter 
of the Most High. Peace be with you in Jesus' name. No more shame, no more disgrace, no more lack, no more pain. May the authority God have given to you begin to use it. Say, let them be light and there was light. No man can question that power given to you by God, the Holy Spirit. The Bible said the Holy Spirit were always present for Jesus to heal their sick, to perform miracles. May the Holy Spirit be active, activated in your life. May the Holy Spirit never be missing. May the Holy Spirit never go away from you. Father, do not take your Holy Spirit away from us. As you declare it is, it shall come to pass. In Genesis, the same Holy Spirit that was hovering upon the surface of the water, the Bible said, there was darkness everywhere in the beginning. There was darkness, voidness, emptiness. But the Spirit of God was hovering. That was the Holy Spirit. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Power of creativity received in the name of Jesus. As you declare, it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. You will not lack of the Holy Spirit. You will not lack of the power of God. Jesus said, when I go, I will send the comforter to you. Yes. He said, when I'm here, the comforter cannot come. The comforter is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of the Father. He will make known to you all that you need to know. Be careful the life you live. Live a life that plays God. Live a life of righteousness. When you grieve the Holy Spirit, it will go. Sin grieved the Holy Spirit. Sin of sexual immorality. He grieved the Holy Spirit. Idolatry. Worshipping of idols grieved the Holy Spirit. Lying. Giving false allegation against others. False prophecy. Yes, he grieved the Holy Spirit. Be careful so that you don't grieve God. All this thing will make God to run away from you. Live a life that will please God. Stay away from sin, love righteousness, and hate wickedness. And the Holy Spirit will always be around you. When you miss it, go back and say, Father, I am sorry. Don't do it again. Okay? Try to live a holy life. May God bless everything you put your hand into. May the Lord bless the work of your hands. Bless you, bless your family, your children. I pray for everyone sick, receive healing. Wherever you are, those in the hospital, in the coma. I pray for Sister Soy. I pray for all my sons and daughters all over the world, the children of the Most High God. Everyone seek receive your healing. May the Lord bless you. I pray for Sister Soy. You are coming out of that sickness. You are coming out. I pray for total restoration. May the Lord give you a natural oxygen. You will not breathe with oxygen. I pray right now. Receive your healing. I pray for everyone. Receive your healing. Restorations in the name of Jesus. May God restore back everything in your life. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. God bless you. The presence of God is heavy right now. I need to go and rest in his presence. God bless you, everyone. Have a very wonderful Sabbath. So be back by special grace of God later for prayers. Okay? Bye, everyone. I love you. Jesus love you, too. Amazing God, you will all come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, all come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, you will all come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, all it come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, all it come true for me. Amazing God, amazing God, all it come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, all it come true for me. Amazing God. May the Lord always come true for you. This amazing God, 
the miracle working God, the faithful Father and the blessed Redeemer. He will always come true for you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He will never allow your nakedness to be seen. He will provide for you. Amazing God. Your leg come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. Your leg come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God, all they come true for me. Amazing God, bye everyone. Amazing God, your all they come true for me. Amen. God bless you, Kisley. God bless every one of you. Bye bye. We we'll see you again later. Amazing God, you will all lay control for me. Amazing God. Bye for now. <laughs> Amazing God.